Hey y'all, Courtney Lyons here with Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend and today we are talking about mystery boxes with Diamond Art Club. All right, for those of you who are new to my channel, I do all things diamond painting. My favorite all-time company is Diamond Art Club and they are coming out as of the time of the release of this video. They are coming out with a mystery deal today. I'm going to try to get this video out early so you guys can kind of get an idea of what mystery deals, oh sorry, mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are, I have another video that I'll link for you guys that is, sorry, there's gonna be cars here. Um, another video that is, what are the difference between mystery deals, mystery boxes, and mystery um, kits? And we'll, just go back and watch that one if you're confused because this is mostly about mystery boxes um this these two are not from a mystery box so uh but i they kind of are the pity of me of what i would like to see in this mystery box that is coming out today at 9 p m 9 a.m pacific standard time 12 p.m eastern standard time so just kind of base it off of that it is going to be four kits um, two of them are going to be never, be it is a Halloween box, by the way, Halloween. And that's actually, can you hear the crow? That's kind of why I was like, this might be a good spot because you can hear the creepy crow. There's really nothing else creepy about this. Maybe I would have done a whole setup, but, um, we just found out about this and I don't have time. So yes, two Halloween kits that are never before seen. Um, and then two out of, two Halloween kits out of, I think they said 32 or 36 different kits. I'll pop it up um, right here if I'm wrong, but it's 32 or 36 and of, of Halloween kits that I have not, okay, wait, they have been released already. I'll fix it if, I have, if I'm putting it in wrong, but two kits that um, have already been released but will be included and then two never before seen kits and there's a whole bunch of different combinations, like tons of combinations. I forget what they said. There are a lot of them. I probably should have checked that out. I'm gonna make like a box right here with the picture and the information so you can see that because um, then you'll get the, the full information about what's going to be there. I do every mystery box I can because the ones that are never before seen usually are exclusive to the mystery boxes. So you will not see them anywhere else. There's one called Try to Follow that came from the chemistry kit before. Very, very hard to get to. So. I would recommend grabbing one um, and they usually do go pretty fast. I think last time they extended it for a little time, a little while, um, but they did say for six hours only for this one. So um, yeah, if it's something you're interested, I wouldn't wait on, <laughs> I wouldn't sit on it. But um, yeah, so I want to do kind of a quick history of mystery boxes and then I wanted to do like a quick like what is it that i'd love to see in this mystery box okay before we get into these individually i did kind of want to talk about where i got my information and i do want to point out that it is not going to be i mean it's comprehensive <laughs> i've deep dived into this thing it's been an all-day thing and i guarantee i'm going to be up late doing even more editing but um i did get my information from the vip group i just went through that and then the diamond art club group both on facebook and then also from diamond art club site all the pictures i was getting i got from diamond art club site um and then i got so much information from Lindsay ball and she is one of the group experts on the diamond art club vip group so thank you so much Lindsay. i really really appreciate it that was amazing the information you were able to give me um I want to point out that the pictures for one, two, and three are just AI generated because I couldn't find the pictures for them. Neither I did I really want to deep dive into that. Um, but the pictures for four, five, and six that I'm showing right here on screen are the actual pictures that were uh, provided by Diamond Art Club on their site. And then so will number seven when I show that one. But I also wanted to talk about how, okay, what I'm going to be talking about for each individual one is I'm going to say what kind of kits were included like whether they were never before seen clearance ones or fan favorites there are some that were like specifically mystery kits and um then i wanted to give the release month because it's a little too hard to find the dates but at least i can give you the release month and then i wanted to also point out um <clears throat> 
excuse me, which kits were actually in available. Now, this is as comprehensive as I can get. I did get tons of information from Lindsay Ball. Um, and then number six, five and six, I know really well. Um, I Number six, I have a whole video about that. So I'm really not going to get into which kits came with number six and I'll kind of move into why when it comes up but this is also a combination of mystery boxes that are kind of what I call like the what I'm gonna specifically call the true mystery boxes and then the clearance mystery boxes um number one was a true mystery box meaning it had kits that had never before been seen as well as some fan favorites and um, mysteries that had not been I, I don't know if the mysteries had been seen yet before or not um but number two was actually a clearance box and that means that there's overstock items that diamond art club would like to sell so they're doing it on clearance in a mystery box way and that's really fun. You don't get as many as you want as you would like. In my opinion, people weren't as happy with the clearance boxes, but you still get really, really good kits. <laughs> like they're really good kits to still be gotten. And then number three, same thing was a clearance box. Number four was like a true mystery box. And then I'll talk more about that when we get to it what was included and then number five was also a true mystery box number six was again a clearance mystery box and i'll get more into that when we get there and then number seven is what we're gonna that's going to be coming out today is the um what you would call a true mystery box and yeah so that is it on this front i can't think of anything else um oh no i did want to point out like the one for today, as well as number one, number four, and number five, do have, like I said, the never before seen. And those usually are not re released on Diamond Art Club. There are some exceptions, like uh, House on a Cliff, and I don't know any ones off the top of my head, which did get re released later. But like, so like most of the kits that were never before seen will only you will only get in the mystery box. So I always think it's worth getting. Because at least you have something to trade with someone if you wanted a different one. And um, you can de-sash ones that you don't want. They're highly, highly um, sought after. Like something like Try to Follow or is like really one that people want. And it was in the mystery box number five as a never before seen. Lots of them are like that. So those are for the true mystery boxes is what I'm calling them, not the clearance ones. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to give that caveat. And then let's go ahead and get started on box number one. So mystery box number one was a like, very true mystery box. It came with six canvases. So it actually costed $200, but it was $400 worth of canvases. So this was um, one mystery. So it came with one mystery kit. For those of you who might not know what a mystery kit is, it's where the canvas is pretty much black and white with other kind of very neutral colors. It's always a square, at least with Diamond Art Club. And... Um, it is a mystery to you what the like even the symbols are mostly black and white or they're not color coordinated to the actual drills because um the drills are obviously brightly colored so that you see the image as it starts to come out and you don't know what it is before then it's really fun i have not tried one myself but i am actually going to be doing one for christmas so it does come with one mystery i don't know which ones were available it looks like it's probably just the ann stokes mystery and then it came with three never before seen kits so these are new ones that had never been yet put on diamond art club site or bought by anybody else and then supposedly they were discontinued after but i'll kind of give the caveat that to that in a little bit and then two fan favorites so Ones that could be at any point, um, like, it could have been any of them. Like, any of them that are on there. So, I am going to be showing you some images. Sorry, I don't know if that made sense. There are any of them that are already on the site and been put up on Diamond Art Club site and released. Not necessarily had to be in stock. They could be ones that were, at the moment, before you bought it, out of stock. So, I'm going to show you some images and you will see that um, which ones were available. I believe there were three different kinds, three different variations of kits. So um, 
variations of boxes and they made it so there's a lot more variations now with the future boxes but back then it was the three different variations it sold out super fast so then they did a second release which was different from the first and then um i don't know much about that i just had heard about that but at least for the first release this is what they had so i'll show up the pictures right here there's fenrir 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 by ines guerrero there is Sunken Ship by Sergio, which I think I've seen more recently still on the site. And sorry, on the finier, I did kind of block out the side boob there because my kids watch this, watch my videos. Um, House on a Cliff by Image World, which has been re-released since. Um, then there was Magic Portals by Ines Guerrero. The Mystery Kit was number 20 by Ann Stokes. I don't know if there were other mystery kits released, but we know that one for sure. Neptune and Triton by Hannah Lynn. And then we have Deadly Sweet by Sarah Richter, which is actually available on the site right now. Also, House on the Cliff is available on the site right now. Um, two fan favorites. Uh, okay, so those are the ones that were the ones that could have been not released. This is information I've gotten from um, from uh, Lindsay. And then, so then their two fan favorites were either Virus Detected by Spangler, um, The Boy Who Lived, which is still... Um, both of those are still available. The Boy Who Lived is not in stock, but still available. Virus Detected is not in, or is in stock. Sorry, Virus Detected is not. Customized Bookshelf, which is the third one, is still in stock right now. But Virus Detected has been discontinued. Um, but yeah, so that is box number one. Okay, so I want to point out that I was wrong. It's actually number two mystery box that is a true mystery box. And it was, and, and it's number three that was actually clearance. It's three and four, and then six <laughs> that are clearance mystery boxes. So this is mystery box two. It was $180 value for $120. And it was a combination where there was a mystery kit, and then a new kit, never been released before, and then a fan favorite kit. So, um, yeah, yeah it was uh it, there's some really good ones in here there are a couple there's actually one that i have that i did not know was in the mystery box um when i bought it and i did find out later so first off this is dragons in the library um this is something brown why am i forgetting her name uh i forget i forget her name anyway and then we have mystery number 30 by Anna Morte. And this one, I know, is one that a lot of people really like. And then we have um, mystery number 31, which is a Rafael Trujillo. It was, a, um, I believe this was an ocean one. Also another, like, really highly favored one that people really like. I think most of these kits and these mystery kits are usually highly favored ones. So um, the next one is actually one that is still very popular and re-released, and this is Witch Bedroom. And that is by our very much loved um, Mrs. Buttered D. And I do actually own this one. I did not know it was a mystery kit one, but it also is not discontinued. Broadtail and Fuchsia is one that I have that I found on... Um, just on a resale site and I did not know it was part of mystery kit until w way later and I'm super happy to have this one I fell in love with it when I saw it I, yeah I need to do that one soon okay then we have another mystery this one is mystery 34 Go Scott Gustafa oh, I'm going too fast and then Mad Hatter by Hannah Lynn so um these I also got from um from Lindsay as well and she said there might have been a few others but she couldn't remember and I couldn't really find any other ones too and there were some fan favorites but I'm not going to list the fan favorites because that's a little bit too much um for this and it really was like very very broad what everybody got so all right mystery number three which was a clearance box that means that any and I've said this a couple of times now but that means that any of them that did it was just whatever is overstock for Diamond Art Club that they wanted to sell. They did it for um, half off. I don't remember what the, I think it said, yeah, this is the first clearance box. Um, yeah, it was just two new kits or, or two fan favorite kits. Um, sorry, not fan favorites, overstock. Oh my gosh. Just, you know, I'm not sure how many. It says three kits actually. That one's a little bit of a mystery to me. I'm not entirely sure. Number three, which was number one clearance, is a little bit of a mystery to me. The next one 
is the mystery box number four. And this one is also a clearance box and it was five random kits. And I believe it was, they were $40 each. I don't remember the number. Hold on, I'm trying to look at my thing on the next page. Uh, I do not see how much it's for. I did forget to say when these all were. This was September 2023. Number three was March 2023. Number two was December 2022. And number one was September 2022. So I did forget to put that in here. But yeah, that's number four, clearance box. Okay, mystery box number five. So this is my first real mystery box, and this is a true mystery box. And so I got, um, my kits were Color Out of Place and um, Mary Mindy. And then I got the fan favorite, which I think was like Christmas Bunny or something like that. But um, yeah, this is what got me super excited about mystery boxes. This came out... Um, end of the year 2023 which I had only been diamond painting for a couple months so I did not really know exactly what this was except that I'd already had a channel at this point and I was like oh I want to get the mystery box and show it on my channel because I'd seen people do that previously on their channels and I just got so excited I mean I those kits are adorable they're very very nice kits um and yeah but there were a, a few others I believe there was a total of one two three four five six seven eight eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's look at those. So we have, um, this one is Christine, which is, um, Hannah Lynn. We have Heart of Ice, which was also a Hannah Lynn. We have Mary Mindy, which was a Hannah Lynn. Keep in mind, these are the never before seen kits. And then we have this, which is Jellyfish Mermaid, and this is Jamushka. And I know that um, I saw a few people get this one. And then we have Garden of Peace by Dominic Davison, which I just think is gorgeous. Holy cow, that's pretty. And I actually had been seeing that sell online, if you guys are interested in that one. This is Dreaming of a Better Tomorrow, Jeremiah Kettner, which, oh my gosh, look at these colors. I love it, love it. And then this is Try to Follow, Color Out of Place, which people went crazy over this one. People, I see so many ISOs about this, like, in search of. People are really looking for this one. Um, so, yeah, if you happen upon it, um, yeah, don't let it go. It's a good one. So, that is the clearance box number, or sorry, that's the, tr like, the box number five. And um, this one, oh, did I miss this one? Okay, this was another one. This is Masked by Sarah Richter. So, yeah. Oh, and there's Electric Beauty by Lola Gonzalez. <laughs> there we go. I knew I had them somewhere. Um, anyway, these are, yes, this was another true one. And I did forget to say that one was two fan favorites and one um, restock or over, not overstock, fan favorite. Okay, this is the clearance box number, um, the third clearance box that Diamond Art Club has had. And the s number six mystery box. And I have, I'm not going to go over this very much because I have a whole video on this one. I have like a couple videos on this one. So I'm going to link that below so you can have it. All right, so now that we've gone through the history of what mystery boxes, what Diamond Art Club has done with mystery boxes, um, I thought I'd show you, I really, 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 I mean, they just released a Rita Konya, but I really want to see more of the Rita Konya because there's some other ones that I just would absolutely love so there's Halloween night right there and then my unicorn that I've managed to find Luna Mothwitch there we go now you can see it and there are a couple others that I'd love to I think these two are my favorite and then the new release one that they just got out is absolutely gorgeous it has an electro diamond no it doesn't have it has an iridescent for sure and then like five fairy dust and like one or two ab's it looks amazing and um then the other one that i want to see i don't have time to get out but i only have one of and they only have one released and that would be um it's ghost cafe by uh stefan Murray. and i absolutely of course there'd be sirens sirens ignore the sirens <laughs> but yes stephanie marie i absolutely adore she has ghosts in all of her artwork and i i would die i would die if it is in one of those boxes the sad thing is is that you're not like even if it is one of the combination possibilities you may or may not get it 
So, ah, <laughs> I really, really would love to see some Stephanie Marie and then would love to get a Stephanie Marie. So anyway, um, other artists that are popular Halloween artists, um, let's go ahead and actually move over back to my screen and I will show you kind of some artwork that could possibly, we're gonna move over to see what is already Halloween available artwork that might be released with this. I'm pretty sure in stock, out of stock, it doesn't matter. It's, I think it's still a possibility. And then we're gonna go into some of the artists that are popular Halloween style artists and go in and see if those are gonna be a possibility. And yeah, just kind of give you a general idea and hopefully I'll get this out like super early tomorrow. We'll see, I'm gonna try um, today for you because I should say the date, it's the 30th, September 30th of, yes, September 30th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the release of these mystery boxes. I, I get ridiculously excited. So um, yeah, if it's something that you want, definitely hop on it. Um, and I am hoping to get this out before that so you can see this video before it comes out. It's gonna be a big project, so let's see what we can do. Um, but yeah, I will move over to the screen and show you guys the rest of the video. Okay, so I know this orientation for the screen is not ideal, but this is what I have to work with <laughs> this short amount of time. So um, I'm going to come up here to this very left hand side over here. I'm going to go to collections and I'm going to come to best sellers. Now, keep in mind, while I did ask, I'm not entirely sure yet what um, what is like if the the two kits are also going to be halloween i might have said it at the beginning um but i'm getting more information the more i work on this video <laughs> but um it may be that the best sellers because those are fan favorites fan favorites and best sellers from what i understand are the same i don't know if those are also halloween only or if that's like any of the fan favorites so just keep that in mind that it may or may not be one that is um, Halloween. But I'll point out the Halloween as we go along, or at least what I perceive as Halloween, because I mean, that's different for everybody. So I'm just going to scroll through. That'd be so cool if someone got a Margaret Morales. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I'd love to have Majesty. Hopefully my phone doesn't freeze on me. Magical Christmas. Um, in Everything Give Thanks, that would count as Halloween slash fall um jack-o-lantern time would totally count as halloween but it could be that any of these would go so any of these fan favorites here are a possibility little baker just came back in stock i know a lot of people really wanted that one together for christmas has been on my wish list for a really long time i did have love bard for a while and then decided it wasn't for me and passed it along to somebody else And then low, oh, the Ivy Dolomore fairy lights. I think that was, oh, that was Kate, uh, Diamonds and Dr. Peppers. That was like one of her all-time favorite finishes that she's ever done. So that says a lot. And Cat Nito, I just finished that one myself. That actually counted as my drills and chills. I know that's a little bit of a stretch, but it is a black cat. So I counted it. Snowcastle, that'd be insane if someone got Snowcastle. Goddess of Spring is a really pretty one. Another Halloween Scaredy Cats right here. So you could totally get that one. I've been looking at the black right here, Lori Prindle, for a long time because I have someone that I know that has a horse that looks exactly like this, um, this black horse. And it would be so cool to finish that one for her and give it to her. I am still debating it. Ooh, low stock on that tropical landscape one i just picked up side by side by marjorie sarnat too but you can already see which ones i've purchased on here um some of them though have been re reset i bottled halloween could totally gosh if i got bottled halloween in that i would go in absolutely bonkers i would love to have that as my fan favorite kitty cat my daughter wants that one Sugar School Girl could totally be... I don't know how long this goes for. I Maybe we better go a little bit faster. I'll try to go a little bit faster. Inspiration of Spring Meadows has been on my wish list for a long time. Some really good ones. I'll try to point out Halloween. 
Sorry, I'm just gonna go a little faster because I just have no idea how many there are. Fall Birds on Barn Bird House was my uh, sneak peek. That one is a really good fall Halloween type. I mean, it's not really Halloween, but I wonder if, if fall would be included in this. I also wonder if it's, I, from the sounds of it, it's probably any of these fan favorites, which honestly, there's very few in here that I wouldn't be super happy to get. You might get duplicates though. Christmas Eve at the workshop we actually just got from Robin. Robin, you are so kind. I don't even, I don't even have words. Just always so kind. The kids are really excited about that one. Yeah, any of these. I do have Unicorn Rainbow. I don't know why that doesn't show up as me having it. Probably because I got it off of Amazon. I need to put that on there so I have it. But look at all these. I mean, there's like a few, like even the I, I wouldn't be, like, super happy to have the Flintstones, but, I mean, I wouldn't be awful either. I, I remember watching the Flintstones. But most of these are, like, really amazing ones that would be really cool to have. Sedona Majesty, I want, I want, I want that one. My dad, I've gone to Sedona with my dad a few times, and it is just amazing. So, yeah, most of these fan favorites, guys, you really can't go wrong with. Okay, so that's the end of right there. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's just, I mean, there's so many good ones that there are very few like there's like one right there i mean i don't really love alice in the sea of tears but most people would like that um i just i mean unless it's like a duplicate there's most of these here i'm absolutely loving um the strawberry shortcake one i know exactly who to give that to to finish that um yeah so many here i think i wouldn't love getting a, a small kit like kittens and cookies um based off of the price I'd rather get something that was bigger, but it is still adorable. I wouldn't be mad about it. So yeah, a lot of really good ones, fan favorite ones. I mean, there's just some cartoon ones I probably wouldn't be happy with, but those are very few and far between compared to all the other ones available on here. I mean, you really, you really can't go wrong. Even some of these duplicates, I wouldn't mind having duplicates of because they could totally either be re- um, re what my de-stashed there we go they could either be de-stashed or they could be given as gifts to people so i mean how cool would that be if someone got beachcombers bounty like <laughs> okay so that's it for this portion of what would most likely be the fan favorites do i know for sure i don't know for sure there could be others that are not on this list or there could be some of these that are not included this is just a guesstimate Okay, so for the first artist that I'd absolutely love to see, like I said, Rita Konya, those are the uh, artists of the two kids I just showed you. So I just wanted to show you a few more things. I mean, she does so many witches. So there's just so many things that could work as um, in this mystery kit. I'd be so happy. So she does, let's see, there's this one right here, Spellbound T Art Print. Oh, come on. Why did it do that? Let's try to do this here we go um how fun with, i mean that's not super halloween it's actually very spring but i'd be so happy with that one um let's see if we find okay um the witchy greenhouse was one that i absolutely adored love 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 that one um perfectly wicked would be oh my gosh what i would give to have this one in my art oh i'd love it i love it probably someone watching this who would know. okay so this is the one i have halloween night so i just love that one um now Lindsay from emeralds and fairy lights is doing this one for her drills and chills so that one is a beautiful one as well i mean oh my gosh look at this one levitating sp uh spell art gosh the colors in that one i love her dress so much and I mean, look at this one, pumpkin spice. I mean, that might be a little bit harder to turn into diamond painting. You'd have a lot of white space, but I do that one. Luna Mothwitch is the one that I, is my, um, was my, pretty much my one and only unicorn and I got it. Um, this has been released on Diamond Art Club. It's been in my wish list forever and then it went out of stock. And I was like, dang, I should have grabbed it when I had the chance. I truly don't know why I didn't. Um, this undead witch art one is pretty cool too has a lot of really cool colors i mean oh i didn't even realize she did wednesday art print so like yeah you can see so many oh here's another one i think this might have been in oh wait okay i can't say anything but this one's really cute <laughs> i like this one a lot and let's see what else do we have here um that autumn daydream so there's just so many oh my gosh i haven't seen this one before that's really really cute too 
Guys, there's so many. Okay, this is the one that was just released. So, so many that could work. I mean, I feel like it'd be a missed opportunity if this Rita Konya was not in here. But also, um, you know, this I'm sure there's still going to be really good ones. So, yeah. Okay, that's pretty. I mean, there's more. But that's, oh, the Fire Witch. That's pretty cute. I We could go on forever. These are so cute. I love that Ariana one in the top left. Oh, this one right here, Magic Art. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Woodland Witch. <laughs> Guys, these are too cute. I haven't been through all these before. The Forest Art right there where she's on a broom. Okay, we better move on. But go on check her stuff out. This ghosty one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you imagine how fun that would be with all those different blues? Okay, I better stop. I keep saying that. I, I keep saying it. I'm not I'm still going. Okay, it's cute. There's lots of cute stuff on there. Okay, let's look up next for Stephanie Marie. Because she has a ton of Stephanie Marie. Let's go to here we go. It's going to take me over to Instagram. First off, isn't she just, like, adorable? She's so cute. Okay, so let's come over here to, I mean, just, I, Stephanie Marie has to be my favorite Diamond Art Club artist for a cartoon type. I mean, look at this. <laughs> She's so cute. Look how cute those are. And then, um, I mean, so many little ghosties. This is kind of a, a video. Lots of ghosty ones. I'm trying to find a good example of where there's a ton of ghosts in one. This one's really cute. How fun would that be to have? Guys, if I got a Stephanie Marie in my mystery box, I'm pretty sure I will cry. If, I, if there are Stephanie Marie's available in the mystery box and I don't get it, though, I think I would cry more. <laughs> so so cute just love these her artwork is just whimsical but colorful but okay that's an adorable christmas one. you could still do this for halloween there's little ghosties oh look that's cool that's a fun one i like the colors you guys go check out our instagram if you haven't already because it really is very cute Okay, so um, I, these are the two artists that I would absolutely love to see on here. Oh my gosh, please let this be one. <laughs> but yeah, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, never mind. This one, this one, look at the purpley blues in this and the grays and the, oh, with the little pops of orange, those adorable ghosts. Um, yeah, I would love to have that. But these are the ones I definitely just... I wish I could have and I will probably ask her for if I get to the point where I can do a custom kit I will probably ask her for permission to see if she would let me do that with Diamond Art Club as my like one-time custom kit I would go bonkers over that so but these are the two artists that I would just adore seeing on here here's just a really good example of her showing us all the different ones that could work for Halloween so that would be great I wish um, I'm going to try not to get my hopes up, but I wish. And I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to show you instead now the other artists on Diamond Art Club that could be Halloween-type artists that you're very likely to see, but not guaranteed. Okay, so now let's go over the artists that we are likely to see. I did already do this, but I went way more in depth than probably need be. I'm just going to point them out really fast that you can come over here and you can go to categories, Halloween. And this is not like fully comprehensive. We might obviously get like completely new artists that we've never seen before, or it very well could be that um, a different artist that does not usually do Halloween or is like not super well known for Halloween may have 
uh, Halloween release. So just a heads up. So we might see some Randall Spangler because he's very popular at Diamond Art Club. And um, Mrs. Birder D also has a lot of Halloween and witch style ones that could totally count. Enos Guerrero is super likely to be in here, which I, I love her artwork, but honestly, it's not my like my favorite to work on as much as I love, like I'd lo I love her artwork for what it is, but I don't know the more timid color thing is not the word I'm trying to say. Um, just like uh muted <laughs> the muted color palette is still not my favorite although i do love a lot of her artwork um waiting for the witch jeremy neal has a lot of these like smoke cats that are just like these shadow cats i guess that's probably the better word for it and two of them just recently came into um uh, released and i've actually finished the one called fearless familiar was so beautiful and so fun to do um sandra evans has been coming out with a lot she has a ton of halloween stuff on her site molly harrison um rita conia like i've said before cheryl baker there's a ton of halloween stuff from cheryl baker she's very much a possibility um we're gonna see probably uh where are we here Curtis Rykovich, is that who I'm thinking of? Hold on, I always have to do this. Um, try this again. Okay, um, who am I thinking? Christopher Lavelle, that's who it is. So you might see some, very likely to see Christopher Lavelle. There's more Cheryl Baker. Um, sorry, I know I'm going th really fast. Sarah Richter is very likely to be seen um claudia mckinney has had a lot of more recent ones so that's a possibility uh becca tyndall does have quite a few that could be construed as halloween definitely this one which i absolutely love um sandra evans again and yeah so i just wanted to show some of those that are possible there's another sandra evans molly harrison christopher lavelle enos guerrero and amorde i haven't seen one of hers yet but she's very likely to have some on here that would be halloween style but you're gonna see maybe something like um you could do a, like a bonnie white or donna gelsinger um here's adrian chesterman but like not they don't have a whole lot of um if I remember correctly, they don't have a whole lot of Halloween pumpkin stuff. So, um, but the, this one is. So, like Angelina, Angela, Angela Anderson. I haven't seen a lot of her stuff, but it very well could be that we get something like hers. But, like, was very likely Ines Guerrero, Rita Conia would be really awesome and very likely. Um, here's Bonnie White. There's, there's just go and check him out. There's tons of artists on here that are specifically Halloween related sort of artists that could be very likely if you want more information okay i'm going to end it here because i this is a long one i'm actually going to get this out tonight which would be super super awesome if that was a possibility and you guys can see it tonight so it might be a little bit confusing at the beginning where you'll see it and be like uh it's not coming out this morning did you mean tomorrow <laughs> um so i'll try to put that in my my at the beginning saying actually it's coming out tonight because i think i'll get it out tonight but um i'm gonna go down and watch a movie with my family since i've been working on this all day so yeah i hope you guys have a great time let me know down below if you're picking up this box and what you hope for please, please, please like this video because holy cow, it was a lot of work to get it out this fast. So I would much love that love and support for my channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I do kind of try to do this with anything that's um, mystery box or mystery, yeah, mystery box related. I was thinking I might do a mystery deal one, but I'm going to double check with Diamond Art Club if they're okay with that. That's a whole nother thing. Anyway, down below, I will list my other mystery um my mystery videos so you guys have that as well and yeah that's it i will see you guys next time um yeah thanks bye <laughs> i'm excited should be fun